Welcome to the third and final episode of the Evolution Cloud Accounting Podcast on the second stage implementation of the Job Keeper Payment Scheme in Australia. This episode focuses on how to apply for and manage the Job Keeper Scheme. If you wish to read the content in this podcast, you can read our Job Keeper Stage 2 blog available on our website, evolutionclouds.com.au. Apply for and manage the scheme. Managing the application to enter or stay in the scheme changes depending on the circumstances of the business. These can be Businesses previously not eligible to JobKeeper 1 now eligible for JobKeeper 2. Similar to JobKeeper 1, these businesses will need to Perform the relevant GST turnover tests and keep copies of evidence the actual decline has occurred. Determine eligible employees and assess the correct tier classification. Then set them up accordingly in their accounting system. Obtain employee nomination notices from all eligible employees and eligible business participant. Register their enrollment online via the ATO Business Portal. Notify their employees in writing about their enrollment into the program and the subsidy amount they are expected to be paid. Identify all employees who are required to receive top-up payments for Fortnite 14 and 15 and top up their payments by no later than 31 October 2020, then continue to top up their salary on each fortnight for the following periods. Lodge the job keeper monthly declarations to the ATO to receive the subsidy by the relevant due date. Reassess their GST turnover for the October to December period in January 2021. Businesses eligible for job keeper 1 and requalifying for job keeper 2. These businesses will be required to Perform the relevant GST turnover tests and keep copies of evidence the actual decline has continued to occur. Correctly identify Tier 1 and 2 employees and set them up correctly in their accounting system. Notify their employees in writing about their enrollment into the program and the new subsidy amount they are expected to be paid. Obtain employee nomination notices only from the new employees entering the scheme. Identify all employees who are required to receive top-up payments for Fortnite 14 and 15 and top up their payments by no later than 31 October 2020, then continue to top up their salary on each fortnight for the following periods. Businesses may need to amend their current payroll settings if they are set up to automatically top up some employees to $1,500 per fortnight, to the new amount determined by the tier assessment. Continue to lodge the job keeper monthly declarations to the ATO to receive the subsidy by the relevant due date. Reassess their GST turnover for the October to December period in January 2021. Businesses eligible for Job Keeper 1, but no longer eligible for Job Keeper 2. These businesses will be required to perform the relevant GST turnover tests to assess their eligibility. Notify their employees that they are exiting the Job Keeper scheme as of 27 September 2020 and will no longer receive wage subsidies and therefore be able to pass the Job Keeper top-up payment to them. However, if they still qualify as a legacy employer, inform their employees about the retained ability to access some of the Fair Work flexibility provisions. Exit their employees out of the scheme from their accounting system. Please note that the ATO does not require them to exit them out of the program. Stop lodging Job Keeper monthly declarations to the ATO. Reassess their GST turnover for the October to December period in January 2021 and see if they can re enter the scheme. 
For more information on to apply and manage the Job Keeper scheme, please refer to the Australian Taxation Office website. Thank you for listening to the third and final episode of our Job Keeper Stage 2 podcast. We hope you enjoyed listening to our Job Keeper podcast and you have found it relevant and informative. To listen to more podcasts from our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell button to be notified when we post new topics. Thank you for listening to Evolution Cloud Accounting Podcasts.